Okay. Uh, welcome back to uh, Cities Skylines. Um, in our little town of Frototropolis. Um, I uh, just uh, noticed that I have... Uh, I officially have 10 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Which is uh, awesome. Um, I know... You know, 10 is, it's just 10. Uh, you know, it's certainly not uh, the thousands and thousands of subscribers that some of my favorite LPers have. Um, but, you know, 10 is, is pretty nice. Um, I didn't, you know, ever really expect to have more than like a handful of people uh, interested enough to, you know, bother subscribing. So that's really cool. Um, you know, awesome. Thank you guys uh, for, you know, doing that. And, um, you know, if you like what you see, feel free to leave feedback, share video, share the videos around with your friends and, you know, chat and comments and stuff. Um, and I can always, you know, do more games if there's stuff you want to see me do. I'm happy to try it out, um, you know, if, if I have it, <laughs> if I have access to it. Um, I have quite a few games in my Steam library. Um, maybe 25 or 26 and so you know it's, it's fun to do and if you like what you see go up, feel free to let me know and yeah um, so anyway um, we're here on uh, our little village of city uh, in city skylines Frototropolis um, and uh, when we last left off we has started growing it a little bit uh, I want to talk about a couple of things uh, that we just sort of unlocked at the end of the last part. Um, the big one is districts, which is uh, a really nice uh, feature of this game. You can designate, uh, you know, chunks of your of your city as as districts if you so choose. Um, it is a really nice feature um, because it lets you set policies, uh, specific policies for individual districts. So. Uh, for instance, if we want this district uh, to be a certain mm, kind of district or a certain type uh, or have certain policies uh, that are specific to this district or a certain uh, later on we'll be able to do a, a lot of there's a lot you can do a lot of different uh, customized policies for it. Um, we don't have very many right at this moment. Um, as you can see it sort of auto names the districts. So here we can uh, check out. Um, oh, this is weird. It's not showing me any... Hmm. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it took a little bit to pop in there. So yeah, um, when we click on a particular district, you can see the stats for that individual district. So here's our population breakdown. Here's our zoning breakdown, uh, what kind of zoning we have in this district. As you can see, we just have residential and commercial. Uh, we, we don't have any industrial or any offices. Uh, we haven't unlocked offices yet. We'll get to that eventually. We have to reach a certain population. Uh, and you can see the average level of your buildings as well. And you can also see your average land value, which is nice. And then here we can also um, check out our policies. So yeah, for right now, these are the only policies we have. I'm not going to uh, do any of them. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, but you can hover over any policy and see what it is. So power usage, um, energy conservation is important, and the best way to do it is by installing energy meters in buildings. So this reduces electricity consumption, um, but it also costs five simoleons a building. Uh, which is a highly ex which becomes highly expensive if you're going to have multiple districts with this kind of policy on it. Um, this is the same th uh, same thing, but for water. So this uh, reduces water consumption, uh, but also costs upkeep. Um, I've never really bothered with these because these, honestly, by the you know it's sort of in the early game, power can sometimes be an issue in your early game. But um, I'm going to pause it here because our demand is getting really really high. Um, power can sometimes be an issue in the early game, uh, but uh, very quickly it becomes a non-issue. 
uh, and water usage is almost never an issue, so I don't really worry about those things at all. Um, smoke detectors, however, can be really nice. Um, this is uh, make citizens' lives safer and the fire department's job easier by installing smoke detectors in buildings. No more will poor cooking skills lead to house fires, at least not as often. So, um, yeah, smoke detector distribution significantly reduces the risk of fire in any district that has this policy, or if you, you can also set it as a citywide policy uh, and make it for your whole city. Uh, but it also it costs five simoleons per building. So if you have it as a citywide policy, for instance, it gets really expensive really fast as your city explodes in population. Um, but it can sometimes be really nice to have, especially uh, for industrial areas, uh, which are very prone to uh, fire. Um, so I might go ahead and, and do that for our industrial area. I'm not going to set any policies for this particular district. Um, but uh, also going forward, if you have, uh, if you want to suggest names for, uh, not just for the city itself, I can always rename the city itself uh, at any time. Uh, but also, um, if you want to suggest names for uh, districts, specific districts, this is called Mulberry Square, just by default. Again, when you create a district, it just sort of randomly assigns it a name. Um, so uh, if you want to suggest names for districts, uh, go for it. And, you know, if I like them, we'll sure check them out and, you know, maybe name some districts. Um, we can also name, gosh, you can name uh, individual buildings. You can even name individual uh, people. So like Ashley Chapman. Um, I could name, I could name that, I could rename this little sim person if I wanted to. Uh, I can even name, like, vehicles. Like, you can name, ev you can name everything in this, in this game. You can, you know, see. Um, it's really cool. The, the vehicles, uh, in this game, for instance, and the, and the sims, um, they're all sort of perpetual. So they all, um, so every car here has, um, an owner who resides in the town, uh, who has a home, who they have a job, um, etc., etc. So um, they don't just like randomly show up. This like the vehicles that are here, they're here for a reason, and they're they all are sort of there because they have they're owned by people, and you know um, uh, they have a place where they belong. So like even this station wagon here is you know that's not a that's not a decorative thing it's it's an actual vehicle that exists in this in in the game world um, so that's really cool too so um, yeah we have some very uh, oh we have some power problems here too uh, let's check it out uh, yeah we do have some power problems so I'm gonna dump uh, another wind turbine uh, we'll just dump it right here. We'll set our speed up, and that'll do us for a little bit. Um, I also have some very... Um, I, I, have a, I have quite a few mods for this game. Some of them are pretty minor. Um, I have some like color correction mods that sort of make the color a little bit nicer to look at. I have a... a I have uh, some custom assets that I'll probably be using. This uh, I mentioned this last episode, but like this is a custom asset. Um, it, it sort of uh, it it'll be used sort of randomly when shops spawn as a commercial building. Um, and I have a bunch of other commercial uh, uh, random assets uh, that I've downloaded. Uh, custom assets. Um, you can some of them are in unique buildings. I think some of them when we, when we unlock parks. Uh, very soon here, you'll see some of them in there. Um, I'm not sure if I have a... Oh, uh, I also I have like a custom recycling center. That's that's something I downloaded. Um, but I also have some gameplay mods. Um, for instance, uh, I have a, an automatic bulldozer. So this lets... Uh, it automatically uh, demolishes, uh, you know, destroyed and abandoned uh, buildings on occasion, uh, from time to time. Um, I also have, uh, uh, let's see, um, well, uh, this is a terraforming mod, because you, uh, when you're in the game itself, you cannot actually alter the terrain of the map that you're working on. Uh, so this allows you to do that. Um, 
It is very expensive though, so it probably won't do much until we have a lot more money. Um, and we also have uh, this mod called uh, Traffic Traffic Plus Plus, which, uh, gosh, it does a lot of things for us. Um, here you can oh you can see some more of my custom uh, assets that I've downloaded. Um, I also have a crap ton of interchanges that I downloaded, custom interchanges, because uh, I hate building highway interchanges, as you will probably very quickly learn. Um, so I download a crap ton of them, uh, because I don't like building them myself. Uh, and I'm not very good at it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this but this Traffic Plus Plus mod is, is really nice. It does a lot of things. Um, it does a bunch of stuff. Uh, one of the most... Uh, one of the most important things for that that it does uh, for me personally uh, is it it lets me. Um, let's see if I can. There we go. Uh, so uh, what this can do, it lets me put traffic lights or remove traffic lights from intersections. Uh, it also, um, uh, let's see here, I had it working the other day, I can't... I did have it. I was messing with it a bit earlier. Um, maybe it'll work on one of these ones. Oh yeah, here we go. So you can also do things like adjust the speed of um, individual roads and individual sections of roads, which is nice uh, if you want a little faster going. Uh, we can also... Um, this also allows you to do a lot of things uh, with lanes. So for instance, on this intersection, uh, if I want this lane to be a left turn only lane, all I have to do is do that and do that. And then it, cars will only be able to turn left uh, on that road. It, it takes a little while for the AI to update it, so you'll still see a few vehicles um, do it uh, after a while, but but after a bit, it'll it'll update itself. Uh, I don't actually want to do that though, so um, I will. Uh, well, though I, w I what I will probably do is makes that. Um, um, no, you know what? Actually, I think I think I might just make that a left turn only. Yeah, and then this one uh, will be right turn and, and straight. Um, that, that actually, I think, wor works good. Um, so yeah, you can do that with just about any intersection uh, in the game where you can sort of specify lanes. Um, you can also you can do a crap ton of other things with this mod. Um, that has to do with public transport. Um, and you know other things like that. So it, it's it's really nice. Uh, it does. A, it's a very functional mod. It's it's very very useful uh, on a lot of ways. So um, yeah, what we're gonna do, I think. Uh, well, we have to expand. We definitely have to expand. Uh, we have a, so much residential demand right now. Uh, we definitely need to uh, get things going on that front. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, can I buy a new piece of land? I can. Um, I might. This is, I think this like yellowish spot here is all agricultural land. Land that can be used for uh, agriculture. 
Um, that costs five thousand three hundred. Um, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Let's just go back here. And I think um, what I'll probably just do for the moment, um, you'll notice, like, so far it's pretty grid-like. I, I have a pretty grid-like uh, setup here. Uh, but I, that's not going to stay that way for very long. Um, because I don't like doing uh, pure grids. Um, that's not my thing, really. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is uh, do some little curvy things. Because uh, I would much rather have it sort of look pretty and uh, be kind of cool looking than, uh, you know, have it like... That's going to be weird. But also cool. Hmm. Oh, I'm running out of money. Well, jeez. Okay. Well, we need to we need to zone some more. Uh, do they have water? Yes. How's our power doing? Okay. Um. Let's just go ahead and do that. I might demolish some things in a little bit as I expand more. But for now, we're okay with that. I, I'm okay with that. Let's speed it up. Oop. Um, okay, so yeah, now we've got like uh, a road that's sort of going down this hill. Uh, you can see it sort of follows. I guess it kind you could say it kind of follows the ridge of the of the land, the rise of the land. I suppose. Um, and we also seriously need some more a commercial. This is a two-way road, right? Let's let's get some commercial on here. Very, very close to our next oh, I'm gonna destroy Yep, gonna destroy some power lines. Goodbye. What? How is that too short? That can't be too short. What are you talking about? Did I... Did I ruin my power? I don't think I did. Hey! Awesome. Uh, so anyway, uh, so what I'll probably do here... Do more like that. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing, by the way. Like, just just so you're aware, I I, I have no I, I like I'm I, I have no plan. I I don't have uh, any particular uh, idea of what I'm doing 
or how I should do it. Um, I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, so, you know. Just so you know. Um, let's, uh... Now let's let's do something wacky. Let's oh here we go. So we've reached a population of eleven hundred. Now we have opened up uh, decorations. Basically, I can put down parks now, <laughs> uh, and uh, as well as level two unique buildings. We don't really worry about uh, unique buildings until much later, uh, though we can see them. Uh, unique buildings are pretty cool. Um, you usually have to do a couple of things uh, before you uh, can unlock them, before you can unlock an individual building. So, for instance, in order to unlock the Statue of Liberty, you have to produce a total of 5,000 units of goods in your city, which we, as you can see, we have already done that. So, uh, theoretically, I could put down the Statue of Liberty in my town. Um, in order to unlock the Arc de Triomphe, we uh, have to have 15,000 children in elementary schools. Right now we have 168, so that'll be a while. Um, but uh, we also have the Brandenburg Gate, which is unlocked. Uh, we can unlock the Eiffel Tower and Grand Central Terminal uh, after uh, once we do some more things as well. So unique buildings are, are cool. Uh, you can only put them down once in your city, because that's why they're called unique. Uh, and again, you usually have to fulfill some kind of a requirement. Uh, in order to unlock them. We can also put down a high school, and we have some new policies. We can ban pets, we can ban smoking, and we have a parks and recreation policy, which sort of increases the land value around parks and plazas, um, and also increases your budget for parks uh, and decorations. Um, so we are going to plop down our first high school very soon here, uh, but I do want to uh, do some more... Uh, road work here. Let's let's uh let's uh oh no let's do that. Uh yeah yes. I like to do weird and wacky things uh, with roads. So again, I, I apologize if that's, you know, uh, uh, something that, that is gonna bother you or, you know, uh, oh, that's, that's, that's not gonna work for me. Um, but I, cause I, I like to do weird, weird shit, basically. Um, and I also don't like to have a ton of, Intersections, because that creates a lot of uh, extra uh, traffic that I don't want, so... Let's, let's just do a straight road here. A little bit too far. go. Just like that. Yeah. And then I'll I'll put a road like that. Uh let's put a road like that. Like I'm not even kidding you right now, you guys. This is this is this is how I do it. Um I do wacky shit like this. And then we, we need to we need a way to get Oh god, this is terrible. This is terrible. Um that's so bad. I, I'm I'm so sorry for how awful that is. Um Right. Okay. So, uh we really need a lot more residential right now. Uh but I think we might be able to um
need a lot of water here. Let's see. Yeah, so um what we don't need is 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 this. We can delete that and zone. What else can we delete? Um this is all redundant. Um, okay. Need more electricity. Hardcore. Go, 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 go. That's a little better. Maybe, maybe even a little bit more. There we go. All set. So uh, let's look at let's look at our parks. Let's look at what we got. Um, can't really afford much. Uh, we have a bunch of little things here. These are all things that I've downloaded. Small car park, narrow path park. So we can start putting down some parks here pretty soon. A small farmer's market, a two by two mini English garden park. Most of these do not have custom thumbnails, so you just kind of have to plop them down and, and hope they look pretty. Um, but parks are really nice. They uh, increase, you know, happiness and leisure, and they increase land value, and it's super nice. Um, boy, we sure do need some more industrial, don't we? Oh, gosh. Actually, I think what we might do, though, we need to put down, we need to put down a high school. We do not have enough money. Okay. But you can see, um, our education is going up. We have now, we're up to 34% are educated. Once we put down a high school, we'll start getting some well-educated residents as well. How much does a high school cost? Old university. Old high school, 24000 High school costs 24000 I think it's time we take out a loan. I think we need a loan. Actually, let's, let's bump up our taxes a little bit. 11% is usually, like, something that, that people are okay with. Uh, so let's, let's try that and see how much that bumps us up. Because even 1% tax increase uh, can really do a lot for uh, your income. We can check out our expenses and stuff too, which is nice. We can also, you can also adjust your budget of individual services, so you can go up to 150%. It's not as efficient, but if you are in a pinch, you can always do that uh, with d different kinds of services. Uh, you can lower, raise or lower your budget, uh, as necessary, uh, if you absolutely need to. Uh, and, and we can, we could theoretically take out a loan if we needed to as well. I think we can probably, this is resources. Oh, that's oil. And all that's a lot of ore right there. That's sort of agricultural. Okay, well, we do need a lot more industry. And this is a there's a crap ton of oil right here. So I think we might just go ahead and do do some um Uh, create some uh, industrial zoning here uh, to make use uh, uh, exploit this uh, oil 
that we have. And this is going to be pretty grid-like, I think. You know, it's... it's Um, let's, uh, and then I think once we sort of, because oil is not, uh, oil is, um, a limited, uh, resource, you know, uh, it will run out. And then I believe once it runs out, I believe this area will be uh, usable as agricultural or forestry, perhaps. So what we'll do, oh, we can't do oil industry yet. What? Uh, we need 3,800 population. Okay, well, for now, we'll just have it regular industry because that is all we can do. Uh, and I'm going to do another road like this. Let's No, that's that's okay, I think. I think that's okay. And what we'll do is we'll just I know. You don't have water and you don't have power. I'm aware. We'll get you some power, too. Just a sec. Hold your horses, buddies. See? Now you're all set. So that took care of that, pretty much. Of course, and then we immediately have a fire. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Brand new industrial area, and we already have a fire. Jeez, you guys. How dumb do you have to be? And there's your fire trucks. Ah. <sighs> Jeez. You dumb little simlies. Starting fires, your first day on the job. My gosh, what is this? Not enough educated workers. So they're complaining that they uh, do not have enough educated workers. And uh, this is a problem. They're starting to abandon some buildings because they don't have enough educated workers. Because we've not put down a high school yet. That's what that means. Uh, we don't have a high school yet in this town. Uh, and uh, they don't like that. Uh, we definitely need to get a high school as soon as we possibly can. Uh, and we are just about to get uh, enough money to do that. Wait for it. Wait for it. And then we will, in fact, plop it down as soon as we have the money. Wait for it. Wait for it. Aha! There we go. So, um, this is cool. This has the same... This is a... Th this, I, um old high school. I downloaded it. It's a, an asset that I downloaded. Uh, I think it has this yeah, it has the same stats and everything as, as the high school that came with the game. It's just uh, it looks a little different. It's just it looks like an old timey kind of high school. Um, it looks like, to me, it looks like the high school that my mother went to in a small town in Nebraska, uh, which is why I downloaded it, um, because it, it, it just, it reminds me a lot of, of my mother's, the, the high school that my mother went to, um, which I'm very familiar with, because uh, I grew up, um, my grandparents lived just down the street from it, like uh, a block or two down the street from the high school where my mother went. Uh, so we'll just plop it there, I think. And then that, that should, should, uh, 
improve everybody's lives. Uh, we are also, once again, running low on electricity. This electricity substation. Oh, I can plop this down here. That should help alleviate some of the problem, at least until I get enough to buy a new wind turbine. When does that unlock? Oh, we get to 1900. Oh, so close. So very close. And we'll also get another boost in our money. We need to zone some more. I'm gonna try to avoid our, um, you know, our 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 wind, uh, our power generating uh, windmills for the moment, at least. Uh, oh, here we go. 1900. So we have another new area unlocked. Wow. Uh, we also, okay, so now we also have some, our very first public transportation. Yay. And we have ore industry specialization. That's nice. Some new policies, a bunch of new roads. Um, I unlocked basically all of these interchanges. Uh, and some custom roads are bus depot. Oh, and we now have death care to worry about because we have to plop down our cemetery and we can finally put down an advanced wind turbine which does a lot more power. Gives us a lot more power than the regular ones. The advanced wind turbines you have to put them in water. Um, but if you can get them uh, you've ha if you have a good place for them uh, they can be super awesome. Um, do we need this? No. We do not. So let's let's zone that now. Um So yeah, now we have a high school going. Uh we will very soon want to start putting in uh our first bus routes. Because um, public transportation uh, is so good uh, for, um, you know, making sure that you have um, for for uh, sort of keeping your keeping your your traffic uh, for trying you know keeping some of your traffic problems to a minimum. Um, it's it's very useful uh, for that. Uh, so okay, so we don't really have. Um, like, we have a waterway here, but it wouldn't do anything, because there's no wind. So, um, that's, that's useless to me. Um, so for now, I think we just need to, uh, uh, plop some more, uh, uh windmills. Or, uh, maybe we can just plop down an oil, a coal power plant. Um, let's just do that. Uh, it'll start running. There we go. That should take care of our uh, power problems for a bit, at least. Um, uh, so yeah. What we can do, um, let's maybe check out some parks here. Um, we really need some parks in our little town. Well, let's, let's, ooh, let's put a park right here. That'll make him happy. What else have we got here? A spiral park, a small parking lot, a neighborhood farmer's market. Oh, ooh, that's pretty big though. That is really big. Oh, that's nice. Uh, oh, that's a parking lot. Uh, what else have we got? 2 by 8 narrow path park. This is sort of... See, that, that works there really well. 
Uh, it, it'll work once once we get uh, more buildings in. That'll be really nice. One by one swing park, a small parking lot, um, small farmers market, five by five. That's a little better. Um, let's do that there. They'll like that. Yeah. How is our fire coverage? Yeah, our fire coverage is not great here. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's plop it down right next to our power plant. Now, we also need to start taking care of our dead people. Because we are going to start having dead people pretty soon. Uh, and to that end, uh, we will need to put down a cemetery. So, let's go ahead. And uh, we'll put this... I'm not sure. I don't want to put it really close to the industrial area. But uh, we can put it there. That's fine. And now we have a place to put all the dead sims when they die, which is helpful. Uh, so they're still complaining they don't have enough educated workers, but we're taking care of that because we put down a high school. What is it operating? 506, so half, pretty much half capacity right now. Um, it looks really nice. I, I like the way it looks. Um, like I said, it, it looks a lot like the high school my mother went to uh, in small town Nebraska. It had that sort of really old-fashioned kind of look to it with the kind of Grecian pillars and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really neat. I like I like this custom asset. So um, yeah, we've unlocked buses. Uh, can't, can't afford a bus depot. We need 30,000 simoleons to get a bus depot. But as soon as we can, we're going to put down a bus depot and we're going to um, put down, start putting down some bus lines. Um, it may not seem very necessary right now, but it will become very necessary very soon as our city continues uh, to grow. We'll just sort of fill that in for now. Take care of that commercial demand. How is our garbage collection service doing? It's doing okay. We're at 23%. Nobody's dead yet that I know of. Traffic looks okay. What's the noise pollution doing? Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the the wind turbines. See, this is why I haven't put any any residential housing terribly close to the wind turbines. That's as close as I've gotten because they're very, very noisy. In fact, very soon I think I might just go ahead and um, move those. Because another good thing about this game is that you can move things around. You don't have to demolish them, you can move them. So, for instance, this thing. Relocate building. Let's relocate it. Let's put it over here, where it's away from the people. Um, it costs a little bit of money, uh, but it's not as expensive as just demolishing the thing uh, and, um, and, and putting up a totally new one. So, so you can see relocation cost is 1200 uh, So basically it's, it's much cheaper to uh, move something around, move something you know, to a different place than it is to demolish it and, and put down a, a brand new one at full price. Saves a lot of money. So yeah, we will move these over like this. 
and we'll have the exact same amount of power, we'll just uh, in a slightly different place. And then we need to build, uh, you know, our power lines. And then we should be fine. Um, probably. Oh, we need to connect these, I think. There. And now we should be fine. Yep. We're fine now. And now our noise pollution has dropped considerably. Uh, in that spot where the residential area was. So now I feel more uh, comfortable putting up more residential right here. Uh, let's um, marquee it and just go like that. Because uh, now they want to live there. Because they're like, oh heck yeah, it's like a cliffside home. Like, look at that. That's that's a really nice place to live. Let me tell you. That, that there, that is some prime real estate. Like, look at that. That is super nice. Super nice place to live. Who wouldn't want to live there? Like, that's awesome. What is our next achievement? I'm not even sure. Yeah. Yeah, no death yet. I I'm I'm not even sure. I'm I'm sure we'll we'll see it in a second here, or sometime soon. Um. So yeah. Our city is now growing apace. Uh, we can probably also districtize this area. We can make this its own district, I bet. Let's let's do that. Let's make this its own separate district. Like this. Cedar Hills. That's nice. It is a hilltop. It's a hilltop neighborhood. Sure. That's that's what we'll do with that. Uh, and then this can be our little uh, commercial district, I suppose. Yeah, Myrtle Park. Sure, why not? And this can be... Uh, well, let's actually, let's do this. Just sort of connect them like that. Oh, uh, Mill Square. Hey, that works because it's an industrial neighborhood. So Mill, Mill Square, and it's square. So you know, cool. That sure works. Uh, looks like we have equal uh, amounts of demand for pretty much everything right now. Let's just uh, do a little more like that. Um, so, okay, so, let us, uh, last thing I want to do here, um, before we go, before we end this episode, is, uh, start, uh, on our, our public transportation. Um, because public transportation is super, super important to the, uh, to the functional running of a, of a city. Um, it is, is something that you want to take care of pretty fast. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plop down a bus depot. And then uh, we're going to start putting down some bus lines uh, so that we can, uh, you know, we're going to get off on the right foot and start to take care of our traffic problems before they uh, bite us in the ass. <laughs> so, um, 
so yeah, uh, bus lines um, are really, uh, and and you'll we'll see this also with when we unlock uh, the subway, the metro, um, and also um, the local train service. Um, bus lines and, and subway lines are are super easy um, to make. Uh, they're super customizable. Um, you can do all kinds of different things with them. Um, they're really nice. So, um, what I'll probably do is we'll probably have one that sort of goes around, um, that sort of uh, makes a circuit of the city, uh, of our little city here. So, um, so we'll start with that. So yeah, place bus stops to create a line. Bus stops need to form a circular line because you have to have it's a bus route, uh, and uh, buses are automatically sent out from a bus depot. So as soon as we create a line, um, the bus depot will send out the necessary buses uh, for that line. So um, let's start over here in our Mulberry Square neighborhood, and we'll just start with that. Uh, let's go over here. Um, we'll add a stop here, we'll add a stop here, um, we'll add a stop here, uh, there's nothing here yet, we'll put a stop here. Um, sure, I'll put a stop here. You kind of want to, you know, double it up. Oh, that's right, because this is a one way. So we have to do it um, a little bit differently this way. And then, um... All right, so there's our sort of circuit of our the main part of our city. It's a little weird. Uh, somebody doesn't have water. Oops. So we'll start with that, and then eventually we'll do more local lines and things. Um, but you know, having bus lines, uh, you know, more if a bunch of Sims will take the bus instead of driving everywhere, so you'll have fewer cars on the road, which makes for fewer traffic problems. Um, so you know, that's why that's why we like buses and and. Uh, and once we open up the metro, uh, also, you know, there will be awesome metro lines. Um, so here's a bus. It's only, there's zero of 30 people on it. Why?
Five people on the bus. All right. Five people on the bus. How many buses do we send out? Twelve? Twelve buses for that one bus line? Are you freaking kidding me? No wonder they're all empty. We gotta give it time to run the simulation and, and figure it out. So you can see uh, buildings are upgrading. Educate more citizens to allow the building to be upgraded. Alrighty, we'll, let's check our education right now. Uh, we're good on high school availability. You can see this is how many we have, this is how many eligible students we have, and this is what our capacity is. So right now we have 700 and about 700 eligible students and a thousand capacity. So it, 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 you can see the number of eligible students is, is rising. So our capacity is going to get smaller over time, but for now we're okay. Um, and we're pretty close to capacity for elementary school education. We might need, we're going to need a new elementary school very soon, actually. Uh, what do we got here? Two people on the bus. Okay. Let's, let's, let's check that out. 38 people per week are using uh, our, our bus line. So 12 fewer vehicles on the road. We can change the color of our bus line. Let's make it a pretty uh, tealy color. Sure, why not? We can also name our bus line. Um, here we can name it. Uh, Froda Trop Metropolis Express. So that's the Frodotropolis Express. Oh wait, did I not name it? Oh crap. Frodotropolis Express. Now it's named. Uh, 64 passengers. Alright. People are riding our bus line. Look at that. 64 people on our bus line. That's good. That's what I like to see. Is little similes on the bus. Uh, so, okay. Well, I think... Um, you know, I think we'll uh, probably leave it there for the moment. Um, you can see we have a bunch of new robes that opened up. Um, but I think we're going to leave this episode there for the moment. And uh, next time we'll, you know, continue expanding. We... Need to do some more residential again. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, you know, how we go. And again, you know, feel free to leave comments, questions, naming suggestions in the comments. We already have several little districts here. Um, we can name them all. So, yeah, let's uh, enjoy. Thank you so much. See you next time.